At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. You'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. Two Kentucky natives will soon begin production on a horror film titled Pigs to Slaughter this September. Tuesday, Mountaintop had the opportunity to speak with cast and crew about the film and when we can expect to see it. I was kind of at the core of all this. Kurt and I wrote it uh, back, started talking about it back at the end of last year. Um, I had written and uh, just filmed uh, two Western films that started out as one, but after we edited uh, Vengeance Turns, it turned into Vengeance Turns Volume 1 and Vengeance Turns Volume 2. And they're actually premiering right now as Vengeance Turns Volume 1 in the Hollywood Real Independent Film Festival, the 22nd annual coming up in August. But Kurt uh, drew the comic book, the yeah. companion comic book that goes with these movies. So there's Volume 1, Volume 2 in the movies. And then essentially volume three is in a comic book called Explosions of Truth. And Kurt was the artist for that. And he did a lot of the concept art for me over about a five year period while I was working on that Western. And so both of us are from Kentucky. We're both older than these guys. I'm 53, Kurt's in his forties. And we were talking about slasher movies and Kurt was asking me why I'd never done one. And uh, just through the course of the conversation, we basically started writing one. Through passion, actors and cast have taken it upon themselves to create a piece that is satirical, political, and scary. Actors describe what they hope to achieve with the film. So fulfilling to be a part of something that not only we have influence in as producers, um, but also stands for something and has political beliefs that are so um, ingrained into the story itself that you can't take away from it. The thing that's different about this horror movie is I love horror movies, but historically, especially with the recent stuff, they have some pretty problematic undertones. You usually see these horror movies that you enjoy for the scares, but so often the female characters in it are treated as objects. The people of color kind of die off very, very quickly. And so the gratification of being part of a project where the coolest characters happen to be a lot of the female characters. They're the ones that often don't need someone else to stand up for them. They stand up for themselves. To, to be able to not only be a part of such a big genre that we all love so much, but to possibly be something unique in such a huge genre that we all love is just, uh, it's incredible. It's a really great thing that we're able to do. Like it's, it's very gratifying. And I think we're all very thankful to be able to even be in that position that we could be doing something genuinely unique in such a, such a huge market. Afterward, Mountaintop spoke with co-writer and Eastern Kentucky native Kurt Belcher, who contributed himself to the film through the means of comic book writing. I think in a way, comics sort of prepares you for doing movies and doing live action stuff. Bobby may agree with me on that. Uh, but then in other ways, comics is a completely different medium. You know, it's completely unlike any other kind of medium. And uh, th the same with film. You know, film is a completely uh, unique medium in the world. And uh, I don't think anything can really prepare you for that. <laughs> you know, to get involved in that, you just kind of have to jump into it and jump in with both feet. To learn more, or if you would like to back the film, you can visit Indiegogo.com, keyword, spread pigs to slaughter. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.